This million dollar truck behind me runs 30,000 feet of electric wire underneath the ground. I'm here in Midland, Texas at Underdog Wildline with my boy, Andy De La Rosa. I'm born and raised here in Midland, Texas. I've been working in the oil and gas industry all 13 years in wireline. Working in the oil and gas industry, I know a lot of people are, uh, they hear about the money they make. Starting off, I think I was making about 100,000 when I just barely started. The most I've ever made while I actually became a wireline engineer is just a little bit uh, above 300,000 in a year. And he's gonna show us his truck. He's the one that operates it. So let's go over here and check it out. All right, Andy, what is a wireline truck used for? A wireline truck is used to hoist different types of tools in oil and gas wells, which are most popularly known for frack jobs and also for logging. With the logging tools, what that's doing is getting characteristics of the well itself that's behind the casing. For at certain depths, you're able to determine, hey, there's oil here, there's gas here, there's water here. With that, they go back in and they're gonna go and decide where they actually want to frack. This is the actual wire line itself, which is on the drum. You got about 35,000 feet of wire line. So this is what's actually gonna go into the oil and gas wells. Inside of this wire line, you're gonna have conductive copper wire, which runs throughout the whole entire drum. What that's able to do is send electrical current down hole which is operated from my computer system. From there, we're able to power up our tools, shoot perforating guns on fracks and everything. Not only does it have that copper wiring, but there's two sets of wire line itself, the steel wire. So you'll have the copper wiring, the insulating uh, jacket that helps protect the copper wire. Then you have the wire line that's wrapped around it, another set of wire line that's wrapped around that. And this is a polymer jacket. So this is a newer style of wire line, which has become really popular, especially amongst frack jobs. This is called greaseless wire line. All right, Andy, show me how you run this truck. What do you have right here? All right, so this is my control panel to be able to work the drum where my wire line is on. Right here, I have my brake, which will stop the drum itself. This is my spooler control. What that does is it picks up the measuring head where the wire line actually runs through, and I'm able to control the arm, swing it left or right, lower it up and down. This is my motor speed. If I need to increase my speed, I can just raise it up or raise it down to control it. And this is the actual joystick itself, which will control me coming in and out of the wells. And this is for attention control, which will control how fast I'm able to come out and run into the hole. They also use this to be able to pump tools in laterally. Awesome, what are these gauges right here? This right here will be how fast I'm actually running into the well, be feet per minute, and this will record my depth. This right here is for the tension that I actually have on the tools itself on the wire line, so it's telling me how much I weigh coming in and coming out. This is extremely important whenever you're running wire line in the well. Can you show us how the spool works real quick? Can yeah, you spool yeah. it up? So right now I'm in third gear. We'll stay right there, tighten up my tension control, we'll release my dump valve, lift my brake up start coming out of the well. So right now you're spooling in. So if you had the wire line in the well, you'd be coming out. That moves pretty fast. How many RPMs is that? Well, isn't the wire line itself is not in the uh, measuring head, so I can't measure how fast I'm coming out. This right here, I would say we're probably moving about three to 400 foot per minute. This truck has the capability of moving out, shoot over a thousand foot per minute. And like I said, with the motor speed control, I can raise the speed right here. So you adjust your speed right there. Yeah, you can hear it humming now. Yeah. So cool, so that's how you operate the spool. Tell me a little bit about the rest of this truck. We got lots of electronics in here, lots of computers. It looks like a spaceship in these trucks, man. Tell me what all this gear is. And when I first started running, these actually felt like a spaceship. So right here we have, you know, the actual computer, which is usually standard uh, Windows operating system. And then here itself, we have the actual uh, wireline, you know, computer systems, which this would be, uh, th this pretty standard industry-wide. This is my scientific panel, and these are my two shooting panels. Right here, we got the operating system, which would be Warrior, pretty universal throughout all uh, wireline companies. This is right here, we're able to record everything digitally. We can uh, select whatever tools that we need to run for the job, select the service for the well, et cetera. We can just do a test well, and I'll pick a tool for us. Pick a standard tool, which is your, uh, CCL and this is your tool string diagram right here which shows the tools that we're actually running we'll save it and this will be recording our depths when we're actually running into the well we'll be recording everything so this is what it will actually look like when I'm going down into the well there'll be a few minor changes because we'll actually be running the tools but this is the graph right here which we call it the interactive plot this is recording every single thing that I'm doing while I'm coming in and out of the well so Andy has his command center and when he has the wire line down in the well he has tools on the end of the wire line and this is where he's able to command everything so whether it's a tool for a frack job, a tool for a logging job. Andy can control everything right from this computer and he can control the spool where he's at in the well. These guys are amazing, amazing pieces of equipment, an amazing truck here. Andy, why don't we go look at some of the tools that you guys run in the shop? We have a logging tool here. Explain what the logging tool is. All right, so this is our RCBO, which stands for Radial Cement Bond Log. What this tool is used is for recording depths, how good the cement is behind your casing, 
and your gamma ray. I know uh, so many people may not know what gamma ray is, but all that is is the uh, natural occurring decay of rocks over the course of millions of years. So that rock will actually emit radiation, which is thorium, potassium, and uranium, and that's gonna make up your gamma ray. So this tool will be lowered down into the well on the electric wire line. It will be turned on, on surface, and lowered down, and you'll start recording up. What that's doing is it's uh, recording your depths, all your casing collars, like I said earlier, your uh, gamma ray, and it's also gonna tell you how good the cement is behind the casing walls. All right, dude, what are we looking at right here? So right here, we got a perforating gun. So these are used on our frack jobs. This right here is our charge carrier itself, which actually houses the jet perforating charges. Got a couple of wires right here. And what happens is you'll send this down the well to a certain depth. Once you get down, we'll send electric current down the wire line and it'll activate a uh, detonator, which will set off a chain reaction. Once that detonator explodes, this right here, this uh, primer cord, which pretty much acts like a fuse, will ignite every single one of these jet perforating charges. The explosive will come out so fast that it's gonna penetrate your casing, your cement, and actually go into the rock itself, which creates your fractures. Yeah, so this is what you use in the fracking process. You guys go down there, pop off these guns, you shoot holes, and the frack crew fracks the well. So this is pretty cool. If you think about it, you know, your wire line is running, you know, 20,000 feet down into the ground, and it's connecting to these guns, and you're able to control these all from the computer and the wire line truck. So this is some high-tech stuff, man. Can I take these home with me? No. No, <laughs> got to be licensed by the ATF to hold these, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs>